Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I want to cover a problem one of my viewers has spotted in my five belly toads. Just because to show so many eyes on these tanks is a massive benefit to me. Now, somebody pointed out, and I, the name is not the most straightforward, so I'll put the details up here. But thanks very much for pointing that out. Um, point out there's some sort of larvae in this tank, which is not a massive problem. In a fish tank, they usually get eaten, but they're probably too small for the frogs. So what I'm gonna do, I know a lot of you have been saying that this tank needs fish, which I wasn't really too sure about, but I'm gonna add some fish into this to resolve that problem today. Whether they'll stay in there permanently, I don't know, we'll see how they get on. So I'm gonna head down to the local fish store today. We've got some parcels to, the, to, uh, some parcels to pick up, as well as some unboxings and some updates around this room. If that's something that interests you and you want to see this tank, the Fire Belly Toads Paladarium with fish, then make sure you stay tuned because that's coming up right after this. Okay, so we're off down the fish store now, trying to resolve our problem in the fire belly toad tank. So I'm gonna try and pick up some fish to try and deal with this issue. So we'll head over there now, we need to get a parcel, we've got some unboxings to do later, as well as we'll check out a couple of other things. So why don't we crack on now and get on with today's video. Okay, so we're going to collect the parcel first. It's been dropped off postal service. We'll do that now, and then we'll head over straight to the fish store. Where's your arch? Hey, so no parcels. So we're off over to the fish store. So we've got the fish, so we'll go back now and prepare them, get them into the tank and hopefully it'll resolve our problems. Okay, so we are back from the fish store, so like I said, wanted to pick up some fish to resolve some of the issues pointed out by one of my viewers, so thanks very much again. So, we've been out, um, I wanted to get some regular versions of these fish, and I know a lot of you have wanted me to add these fish into this tank, but didn't have any of the regulars, so we managed to get some gold, can you see? If you can't, I'll be showing you in a sec, a bit more close up. So we got five mountain clouds, some gold white mountain cloud minnows. I'm gonna add those in, but before I do that, I just wanna make sure we do a water change on this tank first, get some uh, maintenance done on the fire bellies, and then we'll crack on with today's video and add the fish. So let's get on with it.
Okay, so we managed to get the water chains there now on the fire belly, so we just need to add the fish in. Ooh, look at them. Coloring up nicely already. So we just need to temperature acclimate them. Whoa, I said temperature acclimate on the first attempt. Amazing, it's gonna be a good day. So we're gonna add them in now. We'll temperature acclimate them for about 30 minutes. So I've got some unboxings and a few other things I wanna crack on and get done and show you. So why don't we do that now? We'll add these in and we'll crack on with the rest of today's video. Like I mentioned, so we're gonna leave the fish in there now to temperature acclimate, and I've got a couple of deliveries we need to go through and unbox. So um, I've got a feeling I know what this one is. I've been ordering more hardscape materials um, from Riverwood Aquatics. As always, I'll leave a link down for Riverwood Aquatics in the bottom, a great aquascaping store. I know a lot of you ask me where I get a lot of my materials, equipment, and that sort of thing, so they are one of the commonly used stores. So I think this should be some black landscaping rock. Yeah, I think so from Riverwood Aquatics. So, like I mentioned in previous videos, I've been trying to gather a lot of hardscape materials just so I got options when we do start scaping other tanks out. And I find that if you've got um, the hardscape here, you tend to want to scape around the hardscape rather than trying to find the materials you want to make the scape you want because let's be fair it's all natural it's never going to turn out the way exactly you envisaged so some nice pieces actually but yeah quite a variety so this is black landscape rock as you can see it's a bit like sea stone but a little bit darker now, I'm not sure what we're going to use this on yet. We may use it in the AJ30C, but it's looking really nice. Quite a variety of shapes and sizes, so happy with that. So, that's delivery number one. Okay. All right, let's do this without breaking anything. Okay, so delivery number two. Now I've got feeling this is from Buzzard Reptiles. I'm hoping. But a bit annoying, went to the post office this morning and the parcel wasn't there yet, but I think I was some just some new t-shirts for my store. And as always, go and check out the link in the description for my merch store. There's some stuff around the channel. For as well, if you're looking for gifts for Christmas for reptile keepers, fish keepers, then there's something there for you. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah, from Buzzard Reptiles. Okay, great. Okay. Lovely. Right, okay, so we've got some plants which I'm not gonna unbox now, because this is gonna be for a future video, but I basically ordered some plants, which are Monstera cheese plants, so similar to the one you would have seen in Castro's tank not so long ago. And I've also ordered some plants to finally do out the Five Valley Toad setup, like we talked about, so we should have some baby tears in here. And we've also got, ooh, I'll open these. Some lovely bronze I ordered. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Can you see that? No, I'll do some clips anyway so you can see, but really happy with those. Ooh, that's a freebie. We've got a little baby pup on there as well. So I'm really looking forward to adding these. These are gonna go into Bert's tank. Um, we've also got some fruit beetle grubs. So I'll do some feeding on those in the upcoming video. What's there? Ooh. Now, this I'm excited about, but I'm not gonna show you yet. I've bought some, um, well, some fancy uh, wood lice, or, or what do you Americans call it? We call it wood lice, you call it? I can't remember. Anyway, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comment section below, but Castro tends to start liking these, and we started feeding these recently, and we'll see if it will take one as well. 
So, a few exciting things to come. I know I haven't showed you much, but I'm gonna put these plants in to Bert's tank for the time being, and I'll cover that in another video. Let's get rid of that. Um, and we'll also do some feeding with these, and I'm gonna do a video around these wood lice as well on a specific video. Really excited about that. Show you how to culture these. Uh, hopefully something a bit different you wouldn't have seen on this channel before. Ooh, they are beautiful. I'm not gonna show you now. So if you wanna make sure you see what these are, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. There's all these coming up in future videos, plenty to come, more bills, all sorts. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But I think that's enough on the deliveries. I'm gonna tidy up a little bit now and then we're gonna release the fish into the Fire Buddies tank, which I know you're all probably excited about. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so they've been in there now for about 40 minutes. Seem to be looking okay. Start the colour up nicely actually, but the frogs don't seem to know what's going on. Uh, is this food, friends? Look at them. So I'll go ahead now. What I'm going to do is obviously cut the bag open, strain them into my famous pink colander, um, removing any of the water in the bag. Now, I don't know how true this is about keeping the water out of your water that you take out of the bags, just because if a fish is going to be carrying any disease, is if it's on the fish, is on the fish. If it is in the water, then it's surely going to be with the fish. I don't know, but I've been thinking about it recently. I don't know whether it makes any sense or not, but play devil's advocate. We'll make sure these are as safe as we can, as well as the fire bellies. But let's get them into the tank now, because I know a lot of you have been excited about adding fish into this enclosure, and we'll see how it looks. Added the golden white cloud mountain minnows into the paladaria now with the fire belly toads. So far, so good. So, we added them in. Usually, when you add fish into the tank, or definitely when I add fish into the tank, normally they'll tend to hide and try and find the security, but they haven't really done that. I think that's because there's such a lot of live food in there for them, and they've literally just gone around and they're already eaten up all the worms. Sorry, I'm looking that way, I just can't keep my eyes off them. But they're definitely clearing up the problem. I'd imagine there'll be very little worms left by the end of the day. But I think they look pretty decent in there. They probably got a lot more room than I originally thought. But we'll see how they get on. The fire bellies have left them alone so far. They seem to just notice they were there, but they haven't seemed to go after them at all. Um, and they don't tend to eat any of their food in the water. They have, like I was chatting to my um, fiance just now about it and she was worried about it. Um, but the only thing they tend to eat out of the water, if I drop any worms in there, if I put crickets and they fall in, they don't eat them even if they're alive. So I'm hoping they'll leave them alone. But they're definitely doing a good job in this tank already. Now I know a lot of you have suggested adding fish into the tank before. I wasn't massively keen on doing it just because it isn't the biggest aquarium space for them. But they are relatively small fish, they shouldn't get much bigger than this. And I'll keep an eye on them, we've got other aquariums we can put them into if they do become too big for this tank. 
But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this setup, on the things we've done today. It's down in the comments section below. I know a lot of you in the past have suggested adding cherry shrimp in there. Well, we've got a massive amount of cherry shrimp, so maybe that's something we'll do in the next couple of videos as well. But I think this was a success. Now, the unboxes you see me do earlier, granted you didn't see some of the items that are in there, but there are some plants. Like I said, I got some baby tears for this, and for those of you who've been following the channel a while, you'll know that that was the favorite time of this. This was the best the this tank has ever looked with the baby tears, but we didn't cover the window last year. The sun scorched them in the summer and killed them all off. So we're gonna reattempt that. The creeping fig is growing out of controls. That needs sort of persuading to grow over the back. And I've also got some aquatic plants. I want to try some Monte Carlo out in one of the areas as well. So that's something interesting. You want to see the progression of this tank, as well as this room, some future setups, new animals, enclosures, and you generally like barracks setups, aquascaping, and the reptile and fish keeping hobby. So, do a massive favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. As always, you can check out my merch. I'll leave links down in the description. Great Christmas presents and any of the proceeds go towards supporting this room, this channel, making it, these things better paying for these things so it really massively helps me out so i really really appreciate it you regular viewers if you do me a massive favor and do what you always do drop that thumbs up and leave me a comment to show you if you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these but i think before my voice goes <coughs> excuse me i think it's time to wrap this video up so i will be planting and using the items you unbox in the next couple of videos as well so if you want to see that make sure to stay tuned but that's enough of me waffling on for today. A massive thanks from me. I hope you enjoyed this setup and enjoyed seeing the chance to see the frogs and obviously the new fish. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.